Nightwish is erbij komen zitten. Wel, ik ben bij hem komen zitten in zijn loge. Hello, how are you doing? Doing just great. Just woke up actually from yeah. my little nap. So uh, if I seem a little fuzzy, that's that's why. You can nap on the bus? Uh, in the bus, yeah. <laughs> how is it? How has life been on tour? Because you've been touring for like two years. It's a really long tour. Basically, it's been really good. It's been an incredibly rewarding tour. Um, lots of ups, some downs. Yeah. That's how tour is. But uh, we only have ten more to go. I mean, this summer is pretty easy. We only have like one or maximum two shows per week. Okay. So we got a lot of time at home as well. But uh, to be really honest with you, I think everybody in the camp is already kind of like counting the nights yeah. for the end because it's been pretty long. Yeah, I understand. You have been all over the world, Asia, Australia, Europe, America. It's amazing. Well, we're pretty much seeing everything except Africa. But that was the plan from the beginning. And I mean, it's a huge privilege to be in this stage yeah. that, that you get the chance to see the whole world and play all around. Your last album, Dark Passion Play, was also released in the U.S. How, how were the reactions there? U.S. was actually really good. I mean, it's been growing since the release and it just hit the 100,000 sales mark, which is really good. We're all happy about it. We've been touring there a lot. We did four full-length tours in, in there. Uh, last they like you. <laughs> I don't know, we like them. <laughs> That's why we go there. So I think everything is looking really good when it comes to the next album. So yeah. everything's set up, so to say. Okay, because is there a bigger power metal scene in the U.S. than in Finland, where you live? No, it's really on the contrary. Uh, Finland, Scandinavia, Europe all together, it's really good for us, for this kind of music. And uh, America seems to be incredibly hard. But we like a good challenge and it's yeah. growing all the time, so anything can happen in the future. And how does Annette cope with all these guys all the time on the on tour? She's the only woman? I know it can be really hard. Well, actually, I can't even imagine, you know. I've sometimes played with the thought that if I would go on tour for two years with, uh, I don't know, 50 female gymnastics or something all around the world, how would I cope? <laughs> So she definitely has my sympathies, but yeah. she's been doing really well considering. Yeah. But how come there are so few women in this world? Is it it's a male business? Well, it used to be male business, but I think female this like female fronted metal has been really growing during the past five or ten years. Yeah. Does she has the feeling that she has to prove her more because she's a woman? I'm sure there is some of that as well. Not only because she's the only woman, but because she's the newest member of the band who had some really huge boots to be filled, yeah. so to say. So that makes it extra hard. Yeah, but the fans are really excited about the new lead singer, so it's good, right? The fans have been incredibly accepting and open-minded. Yeah. So a big, big thank you for them for that. There will be a new album in 2010, I read. Is it still in a planning state or are you actually trying the new songs today? Uh, we're not going to play anything new yet. Um, I'm writing new songs all the time and we're going to enter the studio sometimes in 2010. So I couldn't promise the album before 2011, actually. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it's on the way. It's going to happen. Okay. And how do you work then? You first prepare everything and then you go in the studio or how does it work? That's how it works with this band. We have never, you know, gone in, into the rehearsal room and just started jamming. That's not the way. I, I just try to do the songs as perfect as possible by myself first, and then I introduce it to the other members of the band. Then we use a lot of time for the arrangement, for the rehearsals. And when we think everything's ready, that's when we go to the studio. Okay, and what can we expect from the gig tonight? Are you going to do anything special? Well... You just have to wait and see. Uh, the whole visual stuff is going to be there, all the pyros and extra lights and stuff, so it should be good. And this this evening's show is going to be the biggest one for the whole summer for us, so I think that makes it... Especially for Grasbot? No, no, I mean just um, more people than anywhere else okay, in this yeah. summer. That The biggest show for us for this summer. Is it a challenge that you can reach more kinds of people because they're... They're not only your fans here, but also other fans, so is that a challenge? 
That's always a challenge. You don't know who they have come here to watch. Maybe everybody is just waiting for Marilyn Manson. I don't know. We're just going to go there and do our best. Yeah, how do you feel about that? You're playing right before Marilyn Manson. That's something totally different. I think different is good. Uh, I mean, the more diverse the lineup, the better for the people. Something for everybody, I hope. Yeah, and when there are die-hard fans of, of Marilyn in the front row, it's not nice, right? Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest thing that ever happened to you guys on stage? Something I can went wrong? Yeah, I can still very vividly remember last year's Rock am Ring Festival in Germany because uh, we had to play about 60 minutes and we had to come off the stage three times because of technical problems and uh, Offspring and Metallica were playing after us and every single person in the audience were waiting for them so that's the only time we've ever been thrown fruits into the stage and you know lots of booing and stuff like that so that was probably the most horrendous moment yeah. in my life when it comes to music but you stay cool then? We tried, yeah. yeah. It was pretty hard. It was like the world championships of cold sweating. <laughs> Are you trying to catch up backstage with some old friends? Yeah, I just met some guys from uh, After Forever, you know, Floor, uh, Bus was there, so Children of Bootum guys were there here, so yeah. it's always cool to see people around. Is the place on the bill important to you? Because tonight it's going to be still, there's going to be daylight. Is it another atmosphere? Well, when you play in the metal band, the more dark, the better. But uh, this is how it is tonight. It's yeah. going to be good anyway. Okay, I'm very look I'm looking forward to it. I wish you all the luck. Thank you very much.